Welcome to Paul Cast 8. Make it a fair game. No cheating, no spitting. Play. <laughs> All right. Play. We are here once again and play. <laughs> and All play. right. Well, I'm going to give it a shot. Here we go. All righty. Ah, Every that. time. Oh, what is it with the bunny hop, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I actually hit the bike. I, third time's a charm. Hang on, let me try this. This is terrible. I don't even know if pros can do this. So every week we get together and he makes the same joke about his bad pool playing. <laughs> <laughs> it stayed on the table Dude, that time. I don't even know if we got that ridiculous. on camera. Did we get that on camera? Oh, yeah. No, it's it's there. It's living there. No, leave that there. That's a, It hit a ball. I'm going to let you have a chance. Oh. Gosh. Welcome to the Paul Cast, everybody. Uh, I'm Paul. I'm terrible at pool. We this know. is this is Red. Hello. Red is my uh, Steam video producer. He's equally as terrible at pool as he is on the floor. You want to bring that back to us there? Yes. And uh, you see, my philosophy in pool is it's all about geometry. Play ball. You just have to know your shapes. That shape. Has not been discovered yet. Yeah, he I'm is geometrically right. challenged, and I'm running out of brain cells. Yes, <laughs> he ran out of those at the lake as well. <laughs> if you saw previous episodes several times. You know the lake is not kind <laughs> to me or my skin. Yeah. Poor, poor me. So oh. there's that hit. We'll talk about. Good. I almost made it yep. there for a second. How about that? So uh, we're yeah. on episode eight here. We are. And uh, I, don't know how we made I it here. don't think I can talk to you with those glasses on any longer. I can't see you. I can see you, though. I know, but are you going to do that the whole time? It's kind of a Jack Nicholson thing, if that's what you're going for. There you go. Yes. I can't do the eyebrows. I, yeah, again. you can't do it. So, um, man, it's been a, been a, oh, the harsh a while studio since, we've, lights. since we've been back. Well, a few days since since we've been back here. Yeah. Shooting the show and all that yeah. and everything. Um, shooting the show, as opposed to shooting the... Anyway. Um... The shoot, the shoot, shooting the shoot. <laughs> what'd, you, what'd you do this week? <laughs> I don't know yet. You don't know what you did. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had my birthday. Your birthday? Yeah. Oh man, how was that? <laughs> it's good. Well, let's have a cheers to your birthday. All right, yeah. Welcome to. Uh, this is one of my favorite beverages, by the way. It's in a can. It is. It, it's it's very much this in a is can. Yeah, uh, Goose Island. Goose Island. Beer company. It, it is. Yes, yes. And uh, they make what is called an IPA. Oh, this is one of what they make. Yes. So IPAs are, are fantastic. Indeed. And, uh, My favorite. Goose Island is a Chicago. A Chicago based. Uh, I have a Chicago based Goose Island story to tell you. Actually. Do you? Yeah. Why am I not surprised? He has a story for everything. So, yeah, no. It's because I'm a skull. <laughs> um, go watch Outlander. It'll be more funny if. I just said that. So anyway, <laughs> um, it's on Netflix. Good. Which uh, let's hey, just give them more support. <laughs> that's right. Um, hire us, Netflix. Hire me, actually. I meant to wear a different shirt. Seriously, All right, hire me next time. Uh, I have someone to promote that's going to be on Netflix real soon. Netflix, hire shirt. me. Yeah. So um, based on this, they, w- they yeah. watch our next music so, <laughs> video. Hire me. <laughs> We're going to talk about the next music yes, video. Yes, we are. But before I get I'm into excited. that, I've got to talk about my Goose Island story. Yes. Speaking of which, is that not fantastic? It's really good. Right. It's a, it's a nice just. Uh, it call, it's called Tropical Juicy Hops. Is yeah. What well, it says that's that's that. what I mean. You should have had it next in coast, the last but. episode because you had your tropical shirt on. Yeah. You still have your tropical hair. That braid is lasting a while. They said it's not going to come out for three months. Are you kidding me? No, I'm dead serious. So do we call you Red with Dread? No. No? You Is call me like... Jack. No, you call me Captain Red Sparrow. Oh, okay. I didn't know if maybe. <laughs> Can you have dreads with red hair? Yeah. Okay. Mine actually kind of do it naturally if I don't yeah. like keep well, up with it. You just don't bathe. So that kind of, yeah, no. it's organic for you. That I just wanted to use his do word. Do not he likes bring my wokeness a lot. into this. So I, I just, you know what you that know. is? What, that was kind of what? a joke. A, a wook. You know what that that term you refers to? You do look to? like a Wookiee, like from Star Wars. No. Yes, I could see you in the trees, <laughs> coming out. That sort of. That's whole an thing. Ewok. 
Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Chewbacca was the, was the Wookiee. Wookie. Yeah, I knew I had it close. You're well, close. You, you look. You look like him too. They uh, they kind of look. Yeah, except they're both woodsy no. creatures. So Wook is basically just like a dirty hippie that crashes on your couch. It basically. So your picture's actually in the dictionary for this term. <laughs> It says, look up red vocalese <laughs> to understand what Wook is. <laughs> Let's hope not. No. Maybe I'll just have to run around and say, man, I've been Wooking for him all day. Oh, and God. people will know exactly who. <laughs> hey, it's a good thing they know you have kids, so the dad joke is appropriate. Dude, the dad jokes are, you know, they're just second nature. Flowing? Right? Yeah, they're they're fantastic. Um, uh, anyway, for so you. back to this Goose Island story. Yes. So. It's it's actually another pizza story. Oh, uh, yeah. So it, it doesn't last too long. There's not, but anyway. So it's my first time. How many pizza stories are there? First time playing <laughs> Chicago with my band, the Paul Scott band back in those days. And uh, we were up north of the city, and you can actually take, at that time, you could take the train down. And when you took the train down, the Chicago train, very different from how things are today with COVID. Wait a minute. We made a pact. No more COVID talk. I agree. No more yes, COVID. Talk. At least for this episode, it just feels like we need to there's be so happy. much talk about it. Yeah. yeah, I just don't even feel like talking about it. So, anyway, back in those days, we um, you could take the A-train. whatever you wanted on the A train. Yeah, <laughs> you could um, and it it was a party train. It, I didn't yeah. know this until we went there. People would take cases of Bud Light yeah. and Jack and everything. Yeah. I get on this train, I'm expecting, like, because in Virginia, like... Jack and Coke means a whole different thing in Chicago. It, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> it travels. Uh, I, it's where I learned uh, the term uh, roadie. Like, and I really? thought roadies, to me, roadies were people who worked on the road. I didn't know that a roadie was a beverage mm-hmm. that you took with you when you yes. got on the train. <laughs> and so, a um, couple different meanings of roadies, you know, when I first went there. But because um, where I'm from, people, you get on the metro, and yes. that's like the train there, and you you can't bring anything on there. No, but in Chicago, you, you could do this. On there. So <laughs> we we brought some adult beverages yes. uh, of the Bud Light variety, <laughs> and uh, took this hour long ride on the train. And um, so then we get there. Uh, we we wanted to go to Lumanati's one of my favorite pizza places in the world and of got which a, there are many got our, oh yeah got this deep dish and the thing that's so great about their deep dish there is like if you get sausage they actually take a rolling pin and they will roll out the sausage and the sausage is a layer of oh sausage oh my gosh as a topping that's crazy and so it goes like bread or crust that's right. this thick right sauce right Sauce. Circular disc of sausage layer that's that thick. <laughs> oh lord! Sauce, right? Cheese, sauce again. Yes, for you know. and, and it just went on and on. It's really more lasagna but, at that point. I so think <laughs> that is where I had my first Goose Island. And, and when I told them that, they actually gave me the Goose Island mug or glass. Right. And I still have that Goose Island glass. It's to fantastic this day. stuff. And. So I, I became a fan of Goose Island through, As you through pizza. Well, so we all fat come kid, our once again. Ways. <laughs> food, food, food got me to liking something else. You know, food's just, got you a lot of different places in life. Yeah, the old foodie isms. Anyway, indeed, I believe it's your shot. Uh, I, yeah. I don't know how it were even still playing. I game, don't either. But why do we torture ourselves this way? I don't way? know. It's pretty bad. So uh, let's talk about this upcoming music video that we're I'm so that, excited that we're gonna do here. This is gonna be. This is. Are you? Has anybody got anything? No, in oh, we're terrible at this. Remember. Uh this is gonna be different from anything we've done. Yeah, I sure hope so. Actually, this is gonna be different from anything you've ever done. Yes, uh, from a also true film director producer type mm-hmm. type thing. Um, so I mean, I've directed music videos, but this is a different kind of thing. This is a different vibe we're going for. I don't want to give it away. Yeah, I don't think we should. Yeah, but um, yeah, tell me, say what you can without giving it away. I will say that it is a different genre than our normal songs that we do it is also a different location a drastically different location than what we normally have i would say that these would are going to be say... yeah okay 
Would you venture to say that this location is out of this world? I would. Yeah. I would. Mm -hmm. I would venture to say that, you know, there's going to be some stuff in there for all levels of, um, you know, people and sobriety. So, so I promised I wasn't going to talk about COVID. Yes, but here we go. There's again. no COVID in this in this uh, music video, but um, so I'm not. Uh, I'm a, yeah. I'm not. <laughs> I do not. But I I do not have a mask on in this video. Um, but no, uh, I definitely wanted to do something. I think we we made sort of a pact or a rule for ourselves. We wrote a contract during COVID. We yeah. started this channel during COVID. Yes. Is basically where I'm going, getting at. But part of that rule for ourselves was this started out, even this podcast, yeah. started out as passion projects. Yeah. And we've said that All from day one. We, we're just, we're trying stuff. Are we trying to make it better? All the time? Yeah. Yes. But it literally is that whole kid in a garage band kind yep. of thing where we just want to do stuff. Yeah, we want to make we, really cool And if things. we <laughs> wait on people or companies yeah. or, uh, you know, a film. That's or, just or, a lot of things or, not getting done. It's just, a, yeah. And so we were like, you know, we're not going to let it stop us from being creative. In no. fact, let's take this opportunity to be extra, to creative. Be extra creative and push some limits. Yep. I think, I don't want to say that doing the music video uh and if you haven't seen it below make sure that you check it out in the channel uh bless you thank you um i should have had you wear a mask for that one that's right can i tell you a funny story real quick i I suppose i gotta get back to castle but so (laughs) on a tangent of a tangent of a chance yeah (laughs) welcome to the add (laughs) um so my son, we had him wear a mask while we were traveling, right? Because right. it was we were in Illinois, and that was the rule. You had yeah, to wear it right there. So we go into a restaurant that was open, and we were abiding by all the rules and everything. Mm-hmm. And we go in there, and he goes to sneeze, and he goes, "Ha!" Pulls down the mask. No, <laughs> we're like, no. We, the exact we were like opposite. afraid that everyone was just going to be like totally mad. And like, what yeah. did you do? And it was like, like the no, the whole purpose stairs. of the mask. Is to, is to cover it. up those things. So we had to do a little education of why we were actually... Now, was it a backhanded education? Was it... Was no, it, no, no, no. Didn't have to get. didn't have to go that far. Didn't have to get but, real physical uh, on no, that one. No, we'll no that, belts we'll came that out. for other things. There you go. But um, <laughs> anyway, check out below if you have not. Go watch the Castle on the Hill video. Yeah, go check out the Bones, Go too. watch the Bones video. And... The reason I'm going to talk about those two for a second before talk we get them. back to what is coming up is Castle on the Hill video. There's a making of video for that. Did we do a making of the bones yet? We did do that too, didn't Docu- we? Or a um, podcast about it. Podcast. Yeah. That's what I meant. So we've done making ofs for both of these videos. So you yeah. can go watch full of details after you watch the video on that as well mm-hmm. and find out more about how and why. But I would say the... I knew that I wanted to do something with Castle on the Hill that was based on acoustic guitars. Right. And that kind of had a vibe. That song also, we knew that we had a castle yep. around here in Nashville. And so that's that video kind of wrote itself. Yeah. And kind of so, fell in place. Yeah. It told us kind of where we had to go, what we had to yeah. do. And, and uh, you know, it kind of gave us the pathway. And yep. then we kind of took creative license with that. That's the first music video. We have both have done music videos in the past right, in our careers. together. First one that we'd ever done together. Yeah. And we were the only crew. Right. And only that, <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. So a lot of firsts happened in that one. A lot one. of firsts. And, um, you know, it was pretty, pretty wild to know that I did all the music, you did all the video. Yeah. All the tracks were created from scratch. Yep. All your video editing was created from scratch. From scratch, scratch yeah. And completely. And yet we made it kind of film esque, yeah. if if you will. And still very proud of that one. Me too. I mean, if if yeah. the channel stopped today, we would at least be able to say I would we be able did to say, those. man, we did a couple really cool yeah. music videos, and that that I feel captured things that we love about film yep. and love about recording music totally. as well and then putting them together um bones uh stepped into a different area of music mm-hmm. stretched a little bit 
me and and creating all of those tracks in a different way featuring a bass on a lead lick which is something i've never really done before right yeah i play bass but i don't really i've never called myself a bass player trying to get a job i've just always used it as a tool in the studio but i i just love the way that it came together and ernie ball hooked me up with such a great bass to feature in that video yeah i think it's awesome um and so that came out, and then vocally got to go back to some of my, uh, you know, R and B roots of putting, you know, take six and boys to men kind of harmonies and stuff right. all together, and then that gave you the idea for a vibe of 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 the look of it, yep. and then the song itself again told us, you know, foundation, yep. you know, so we we're like, hey, let's go check out let's some, bro- you know, some uh, house that hadn't yeah. been built yet. Um, so again, the song told us what kind to do. What, yeah, this next song that we're doing it's is more vague, <laughs> man. So those were the other two songs really allowed us to be stretched us, but also allowed us to take our comfort zones and what we feel like we're mm-hmm. good at and express what we're good at. This next song is kind of a daring choice for both yeah, of us. I agree because. It first, I, I will say it is it is a song that has uh, multiple parts in, or actors or people in in the song itself, yes. and I'm going to chameleonize myself and and be multiple people and in Green in, Lizard in, my musically. Friends. Yes, and um, so it's going to stretch me a little bit. There, it crosses multiple genres, yeah, three different genres, but two to three different genres in it musically. Um, within the same piece, yep. which is something I've never really done before. Yeah. I've done a lot of genres, but I've never integrated all at the same time. all into the same yeah. song within three minutes. Yeah, multiple genres. So taking a song that was a collab and making it your own when there's multiple genres involved. Yeah. The Bones, Marin Morris did it with um, Hozier, but right. like. The song didn't really change. No, it's it was just two people collaborating on the yeah. song. This song, and I'll, if you can guess it below, I'm, I've got a special prize for you. I don't know what it is yet, but I got a special. <laughs> if you can tell by what we're talking, what song it is, comment below. And if you can, uh, I, I tell you what, I'll send you a gift card for Goose Island for twenty five, fifty bucks, fifty bucks, fifty dollar yeah. gift card for Goose Island beer. If you can figure out what song we're talking about. Um, <laughs> Stay tuned. So yeah, so um, it's it's gonna it, and I've already been working on the the tracks. Good. And for those of you that don't know, when we do these songs and these music videos, um, I do I play all the parts. So far, I wouldn't mind, and I'm not opposed to <laughs> having someone join me. Yes, some on collaboration creating would some be of these these parts. You can be in the video. You can give the parts, whatever. <laughs> um. But uh, up until now, send us a wave file. Yes, and, we'll and, <laughs> and we will include you. No, um, I, I really, again, it come, kind of stems back to passion project. Right. I really wanted to get my studio chops back up. Yeah, some of them um, were because I've been on the road end. for four and a half years yeah. with low cash, and I've spent time in the studio, but not concentrated time right. like we've been doing. Not now. alone time yeah. in the studio. And um. So this is this one's really stretched me in a lot of different ways Dude. to have to be multiple genres within one song, both vocally and in my yeah. hands on different instruments. Just the pre-planning for this one has stretched yeah. me quite a bit. And, you know, one of the really big benefits that we've had in Castle and Bones and, and even the Watermelon Sugar video mm-hmm. that we did as well, our location was key. We yeah. watermelon sugar was um, that one's down in the link below too. If you want to see that, that was more of a uh, performance video for Head Rush yep. uh, Looper Board, but it's still a music video. Yeah, um, and played all the parts on that, and you did all the video yep. on all that too. And um, and by the way, I'm not repeating that I did all this and you did all that no. to, for any sort of impressive thing. It's just that that's how it was. That's just how we, that's yeah. how we started this thing. Is yeah. That, we have a such an appreciation for what each other does. Yeah. We just wanted to collaborate on that and put it together. And so anyway, the Watermelon Sugar was in a warehouse. Yep. Castle <laughs> on the Hill was out in the woods with the castle. Bones yep. is in this house, you know, uh, being built and all of that sort of thing. Location's been 
a big very thing. important yeah. thing to because not this one unfortunately we don't have the budget to yeah. go spend 100 200 grand on a video and go travel to wherever and yeah. do all this sort of stuff so we're having to be creative even in our locations yep. but the location has what's been so beneficial is the location has really helped the set mm-hmm. of, of the video if you will be well, cool it dictates some of the taste that we go for in shot selection and how we kind of like prepare ourselves for the day and how you actually act with the environment and stuff like that this one i think is going to be a, a pretty big stretch for us in a lot of different ways because you're not going to have any of those luxuries and neither am i we're going to have to uh you know really use a lot of imagination to pull this one together yeah. i think but uh, and you've shown you showed me a little bit of some of the templates of of like a what do you call it, a lookbook yeah in I, film? I would call it i mean it's a design it's a production notebook and in he that, showed me what it might look like yeah. in layman's terms <laughs> uh for me anyway and i was like holy this is like so cool it's so now yeah it's beyond now it's yeah. a little cutting edge too so it's we're really futuristic. trying to stretch the limits on you know on what we do we may not get it we might also really get it. we might hit a home run yeah you, know? you never know and um so I'm really curious for to see what everybody likes, um, you know, once once it's out. I think if it comes together the way that we're planning it and the way that we're working on it right now, this will be the biggest one that we've done yet. Ken, what's something that we can give away about it on this? Be careful. Don't <laughs> like give away too much. To yeah. try and let them guess a little bit more? Yeah. Not about the song so much, because yeah. I feel like I kind of gave... A lot Some of, of that. information on that, but visually, what are what's maybe one aspect that you can tell them about or technique? I would say that it would be a good one to watch if you are going to be interested in a lot of color and interesting nostalgic images. Now, when I hear nostalgic, I think of past. Yes. But there's also a lot of future in it. I would say that you might too. call it a retro future look. Yeah. It's a retro future. Um, I, again, I think it's going to be out of this world. I do too. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's very cool the way that it's going to be. I think done. it's going to be bold and daring, especially for yeah. us. And, and one of the big things that you are not supposed to talk about is tell people what you're gonna do right or or and we're doing that right now we're telling people basically we're going to do so now we now we've committed to i'm not scared of it though i I think we should no so go um, head first that's right well it's really hard for people to stay you know keeping focused on something that we can't tell them about yeah it's all hard is that we're... i think we switch up to a more physical activity Let's don't do you Let's do it. so so your shot okay that too I, oh I, no i'll take a shot you tell me what you're thinking all right how about that so because <laughs> literally we are the worst pool players yeah, in the history I, I of mankind dylan you're gonna want to catch this dylan's on film with us here again folks Man in the big moving camera. That person He's quite good at it. Is about to go home. Oh, oh missed boy. that. Are you talking I'm to talking yourself to now? Shoo. All right, time for the padded room and the jackets. Oh, thank you. All right. Um, so, all right, so what do you think? You want some activity? Oh. Yeah. I think I do know where you're going. So, um, me and my girlfriend have been talking about going on a little vegan kick to try and like do a colon cleanse and some different stuff try and get ourselves a little bit back in shape and healthier so we decided to go for some more all natural treats this time before you get to that i do want to tell everybody i have a story why am i not surprised (laughs) So, so this vegan chick comes up to me in Whole Foods one day. No, no, no. This is actually crazier than that. I don't know it's crazy. I wouldn't say that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so we did a USO tour yes. this past March, and uh, we were with the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Yes. and um, As you are normally it, on the weekends. Oh, yeah. You know, we're just hanging around. Garden right? parties. So we had gotten on the airplane, come home, uh-huh. and uh, we're done with the tour. Awesome tour. And um, so we're... 
were uh, the I will say that they they took very good care of us and gave us all first class on the way home, which is pretty awesome. So it was awesome. Uh, thank you, USO, for that. And so we're flying back to Nashville after our last stop there, and we'd all been just up and it's it's a night flight, and uh, we're still hyper and stoked about how fun everything <laughs> was and all of that and everything. And um, there's only one other person in first class with us, <laughs> and it's a guy in a suit, and he just wasn't saying anything, right? right. And um, so, of course, inquisitive Paul has to find out. No, no, moves. actually not. <laughs> so we're talking about all of this stuff, and um, uh, one of the one of our favorite people that that we met on this was uh, Colin Lopez, who mm. is like just like this. Super, super army guy, but right. he wasn't in the army. It was he was Air Force Division. But anyway, just, just whatever their version of the seals, is, right? yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So anyway, he's just like people can Jax. look him up, and and Ramon Colon Lopez is his name, and he is uh, they call him Siak. He and he's a senior enlisted uh, chairman to the Joint Chiefs of State. He 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 basically represents all the military uh, people. To the Joint Chiefs of Staff and tells them what so needs he to can happen. beat both of us up. Oh, within like 0. 0.3 seconds, cool. he could have us dead just by going, you know, just like that. That was beautiful. Yeah. He actually gave me one of his knives that he that's knives, crazy. knives, 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 and that he used out in combat in Afghanistan and stuff wow. like that. And it's like I'm like this. He's I'm like people. Probably, he probably killed people with this knife. Maybe and. I'm just hoping not to cut my own finger off, you know, <laughs> while using it. So anyway, <laughs> what a sad so, end. So we're for just that talking blade. about all these stories and everything, and then and this guy in the suit, he he's like, yeah, I know him. And we're like, he, we hadn't talked to him at all this yeah. entire time, right? And he's like, I used to, I used to work with him. I was a Navy SEAL, and. Start and then shows us these cufflinks that he had made out of bullets. Whoa! Of the bullets that were like involved in the taking down of Bin Laden and stuff. Whoa! This guy is a major. I'm not going to say his name, but he was a major, major player in all of that. Will you tell me his name? And later? yeah, well, I'll tell you later. <laughs> um, and we talked the entire flight about all of that. Wow. So we're talking about all this military stuff. Why is this a vegan story, right? So. He goes, so now what I do is I go back and I train our special ops people. Mm. And one of the first things that we had them do was get a blood test. Mm. And because they were fatiguing. Right. And he couldn't figure out, uh, and nobody could really figure out what the fatiguing factor was. So he, when we got the blood test, he said, I had to in my own life become a vegan because my arteries and heart and all of this stuff. Yeah. So I became vegan. And he, um, they they started putting these special forces people on a, on a vegan diet. Yeah, and all of a sudden their arteries just opened up, their blood oxygen levels were opened up. Wow! And so we're all like amazed. So, um, and there's this uh, movie on Netflix. I forgot what it was called. Ah, um, oh, shoot! It's all about like athletes who eat. Vegan, vegan and all of this sort of stuff That's and everything. Really cool. So I watched that. So I'm like punk. I'm like right. I'm doing this. I'm going. I'm going vegan or whatever. <laughs> I'm getting all the impossible burgers I can find, you know. <laughs> and all of a sudden, Burger King. Yeah, that's the best place to eat. You know, they got the impossible burger. Yeah. So impossible. Where did this impossible fall Whopper. Apart? Yes. So for a whole straight week, dude. I, I went. Whew. Don't laugh yet. So <laughs> I, week I went wow. to Kroger. I got all this impossible meat and. Veggie, I went full on. I got. I found out that they, you can get cheese. I didn't know there was vegan cheese. There is. Yeah. I got the vegan cheese. I got vegan. Some company with a D Daya or something or whatever makes like a vegan pizza. Where like everything out of the pizza yeah. is vegan. Vegan cheese on a cauliflower crust. Yep. With peppers and mushrooms it's and all this sort of stuff. stuff. I'm not done yet. I like it. I don't know. Fantastic's a word I would use. <laughs> so I mean, I, we got vegan meatballs. Yeah, fed them to my kids. Yeah, are you and, regretting that decision? <laughs> and uh, and I was expecting a colon cleanse, but it turned into be more of a colon 
burst blockage oh uh, yeah, yeah no it dude there's so much carbohydrates in a vegan diet sometimes that, so then you have to watch that balance and then so after a week Nate, i've mentioned on several podcasts i'm mm. a foodie yes. on the bus i was a fat kid growing up and still you know whatever i'm always have to watch what's going on down there um, another reason to be vegan right but in my <laughs> Stomach region. I and mean, you know, you, you watch what's going on down there. <laughs> I guess you could. <laughs> I think you should. <laughs> anyway. Know, being present is a really um, important part yeah, of any relationship. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so uh, I'm very present when it comes to eating. Yes. No oh, doubt. I'm sure. So, dude, at the end of the week, all it took for me was to just go, oh, man. There's not really anything in the house right now. It's, I ate all my vegan food. It was expensive. Yes, it is expensive. So I had eaten it all, and I was great for a week, feeling really good about myself. I gained four pounds <laughs> eating vegan. And then I, I, like, somehow to counter it, I thought that, you know, wine, that's vegan. Oh, yeah. So yeah, throw that, that increased a little bit yeah. while the vegan food, and so maybe it was more of that maybe it's more than, of it, that. than it yeah. was the <laughs> vegan stuff. Oh, and potato rolls, that's vegan, okay. technically. Well, see, here's the thing. So just I because just, it is vegan that's where I messed. Mean- that's, that's where I messed up and missed out on it. Anyway, long story short, yeah. or long story long, my <laughs> vegan diet... Consistent. Lasted of for a week. Bread. It was pretty much all potato, corn, and impossible meats. Yeah. And it was and impossible for me to, to stay lose vegan. weight on it because you lose eating. weight. <laughs> and I just figured I'm I'm probably meant to have, you know, some calcification in my arteries and I'm gonna continue to that's eat meat. Probably true. And that's just I will it's say though. I, I find it a little bit easier because I'm not used to eating like three meals a day. I normally go for like one or two meals a day. Yeah. So for me, it's a little bit easier to just kind of be happy with a few things that I enjoy at that one sitting and let it be at that and not really crave another. So after I was vegan, you're going to love this. Yeah. Vegan for a week and gained all that weight. The only way that I knew how to get rid of it quickly was to go keto. That's Which is pretty much the exact bacon opposite. And yeah, butter <laughs> and it's meat and cheese only. <laughs> I really liked the keto diet. I know it was it was a lot it, more. It's meat. joyous. It's just I could have died. I made artery blocking. earlier. Yeah, you know from it as a result. But yeah. Anyway, so what did you find when you what did you switch. find that you loved when you decided to go more healthy on your vegan? Veganism? So I just okay. So I went on that trip with my parents. And um, and my girlfriend to the beach for my birthday. And what's her name? Poem. I think she has the coolest name. She does. Her name is Poem. Poem. It's beautiful. Um, but yeah, no. So we went on that trip, and uh, we just ended up getting a ton of candy bars while we were on this trip. How is candy bars vegan? So Snickers has this. nuts in, or nuts? Vegan? I guess nuts are vegan. N- nuts are vegan. Have you ever had chocolate from bacon? Animal? Chocolate bacon, yeah, I love chocolate bacon. It's really good. Anyway, go ahead. Um, but anyway, we got all these candy bars, and I just really started liking candy bars again, which is kind of a bad thing for me. How do you? Did you ever stop liking candy yeah, bars? Yeah, I go in like moods with chocolate. I, I don't always like it, but sometimes so I really want it. So my grandmother, yeah, said that you should not have a day without chocolate because you never know when your next day. Is See, I would vomit be. if I did that. So <laughs> I I eat chocolate every day to That's honor good. my grandmother. Good. I don't have that it's obligation. Nothing to do. <laughs> Cuz I like it. No, not whatsoever. <laughs> but anyway, I had to find sort of a replacement for my growing candy bar addiction. And <laughs> a poem showed me a bunch of these ASMR videos about and what is ASMR? Just so okay. So knows ASMR what is. is like, um, like really interesting sounds done closely to a mic. A lot of people like to fall asleep to it. It's a lot of just like mouth sounds, like eating Watch foods. The podcast yeah. Every week. Yeah. Some On nice subliminal channel. messaging. If you fall asleep to the podcast, please subscribe when you wake up. Most of you have. Quit smoking. At some point. If that's something you got to do. Other. Okay, so um, yeah, we got that covered. So, what is uh, that? What are the n- the names? Stand A S M. I uh, it's it's asthma. It's something I don't remember anymore. Anyway, Maybe somebody was just going asthma. <laughs> the point is that a lot of them do this thing where they bite into honeycombs 
Now, I love honey, but I had never seen someone eat just a straight up honeycomb before. Funny you should mention that. Because we have. I happen to have right here some honeycomb. honeycomb. Yes. And I was doing a voiceover earlier for a company that wanted me to do some ASMR using a honeycomb. I didn't know what that was. Well, there you go. So I am one of the official. I'm going to. I'm gonna let you try it, and then I'm gonna oh, show you. I've already you. tried it quite a few. I'm I like show you this how a to lot. do it ASMR. Line. Okay, I'm yeah. gonna let you try, and then I'm gonna show you how professional does. Oh yes, 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 yes. So the way that I've been doing it is I just kind of get a good healthy pinch of like the actual honeycomb itself. Yeah, now chew it in the mic so we can hear what this sounds like. So what's funny about this guy? We've got to get start. I love it. It's so. We've got to start doing this like on a listenable podcast as well, not just YouTube, because this. I think the sound of this would obviously be funny. Don't take all of it. I got. I got to show you how it's done. But um, okay, so that's a real good chunk. That's a real good chunk. Yeah. Okay. You can see a lot of the actual comb is in there. Comb. It's a real neat, nice texture. I like it a lot. What I really enjoy about watching it sounds weird. I don't want to say that I enjoy watching it. What's funny to me that makes me laugh when you do it, like I really see the Wook in you come out <laughs> and the Wookie at the same time because you look like a red bear. Yes, like a red panda. They oh, have those I at the like Nashville Winnie Zoo, the Pooh when I'm and you're just this. like. Yeah, and you're like right in the open mouth. Your jaw goes in a circular. I've never seen you eat in a circular motion until now. And Wax. then what do you what do you what do you tend you just, to do with the rest? You can of the swallow time? it or you That's, spit it out. That's what I do. All right. Well, <laughs> oh, we're not surprised, Paul. We always knew you were a swallower. Oh boy, we'll cut that out. Um. So I've got my good chunk here. Yes. Bottoms up. And it go right for this. Yep. It's a little sticky. Yep. Some people like to hear the sticky part. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you can get that on the mic or not, but a little sticky. We can get it up. All right, you ready? Yeah. I need dead silence in here. It's starting to evaporate. Hold on. You ready? Oh, yeah. That's right. how it's done. That That's was that. good. That was good right there, boy. You got to get it gushing between the teeth. Whew. Now, if you're real redneck, what you really want to do, you're going to take this right here. And just shove that right you know, in your lip right, right there. Right. <laughs> you're going to dip that honeycomb. <laughs> it's going to sound like this. Now, you don't want to hear that. All right. That's too loud for ASMR. You ain't going to lick these fingers. Finger looking good. That's good stuff, though. Right. I'm not gonna lie. I am such a big fan of this now. Like this is totally replaced like but candy for me. But this comes back to my vegan argument. I probably just had a hundred calories. No, look at it. It's on the bottom. Comb. It's actually really not that bad for you. But holy, there's 12 grams of carbohydrate in a tablespoon. Yeah. And only 50 calories. There's not much fat in it. No. Only 11 sugars. But it's straight carbohydrate. And zero protein. Well, it has to be something. <laughs> it's sugar. <laughs> it's sugar. No wonder bears are fat and love it. Hey, I'm having I'd a great time. I'd make a really time. good bear. You, I, I really, think bear. you and me both would make really good bears. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got. I like to rub my tummy when I mm-hmm. after I've eaten. I like a good back scratch. I smile when I eat. Mm-hmm. Bears smile when they eat. They do. I like salmon. I also love salmon. Yeah. I'd make, we'd make good bears. We'd make good bears. Brother bear. So there's that. Well, we haven't. We're gonna. We're gonna do a, something we haven't done on the podcast before. Finish a game? No, no. I wouldn't. Dare <laughs> not that. <laughs> Definitely not that. that. <laughs> we're gonna actually take you as our video producer, Ooh. put you behind the moving camera, and bring out Dylan, our moving camera guy, and, and he's gonna be the film producer. Well, we're gonna talk about some other things that he's been doing with us. Am I being replaced? No, not replaced at all. I'm fired. You're well, with any luck. So, <laughs> um, and we're gonna just have you guys swap. Dylan's yeah. gonna come on here. We're gonna talk about a couple of things that he and I are working on. And uh, 
I'm going to welcome Dylan by uh, letting him. Yes, there he is. Let's clap. By uh, you, your solids. Okay. You're going to okay. take over red solids. I can handle some solids here. You didn't leave Do him a solid. All right, I'm going to hit my stripe, and then we're going to get to talk in here for a minute. I love it. Um, boy, there's a lot of options. You know why there's a lot of options? Because I have only hit one in. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the game is played. Hmm. Hmm. Come on! <laughs> That's what I was going for the entire time. Obviously. I thought that's what you had in mind. Um, this blue stripe is going to go home. That's a home run right Sometimes there. you just got to send them home. Full send. Ready? Ooh. He wasn't quite ready. Poorly. He was still enjoying the party with all the other Poorly guys. executed. So, um, how are you liking working the uh, the other camera over there? Oh, it's a lot of fun. It's so smooth and nice. We and have added three cameras. That's right. Now. We're professionals. Profe- professionals. If I start talking weird during this, it's not because I'm trying to be Billy Bob Thornton. It's because I've got honeycomb stuck in That's my teeth, fair. and I don't That's know fair. what else to do right now. That's fair. Whatever your um, vice is. But uh, so you've been helping us out, actually coming on board here with us yeah. here at the at the channel. Yeah, we're the having channel a good time. As it would be. <laughs> That's right. Um, and just because my name and letters might be on that does not mean that. Doesn't mean much, actually. But that's <laughs> sure, <okay>. sure. <laughs> hey, but it does mean that um, uh, it, it takes a lot more than just me. I, I am the ugly mug, kind of <laughs> as the billboard for it, um, for better or worse. But um, we just w- decided your initials looked best together. That's what it was. The three it was of us. easier yeah, to make a right. logo out of my that's right. my letters. That's yeah. right. No competition. Um. So, um, but it, you know, it's been awesome having you on. We've been able to. Uh, uh, do more cameras. Mm. We've been able to accomplish more in editing. Sure. Um, it's a whole other set of eyes. Now, you happen to, are you okay to speak about what you do during the week? Oh, yeah, okay. totally. Tell, tell us a little bit about that because yeah. your background in that helps out a lot of what you're helping us out with here. Sure. So I work at World Outreach Church here in, uh, well, we're not in Murfreesboro now, adjacent to Murfreesboro. It's a big uh, production operation over there, but I do all their audio, a lot of their video content I help process. So um, a lot of editing experience through them. You do a podcast there as well, I right? do do a podcast okay. over there. So that's a weekly show. I do a nationally syndicated radio show that's on six days a week so yeah. it's uh, a lot, lot of content comes through there right but yeah so you you're used to the back and forth now does pastor alan jackson have a little more of uh you know notes and order to his podcast than we have here uh not exactly it's a free okay. form conversation so kind it's, of thing. it's free flowing yeah. a little yeah, bit totally. okay that makes me feel a little bit better yeah he just knows more about the chattahoochee than we do <laughs> that's right different <laughs> alan jackson that's okay <laughs> yes. but uh <laughs> good point to bring up in case anyone was confused hey I would go to the church of either Alan Jackson. Hey. I think they both know how to send it <laughs> both home. Both reputable guys. <laughs> That's right. Both love their gospel you know, music. Right. And uh, <laughs> I'd have no problem being at the church of Alan Jackson either way. Um, so that's fantastic. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, any challenges recording that podcast? Uh, the church's podcast. Yeah. Uh, well, it's different because we're shuffling in out of town artists that are playing at the church all the time. Oh, okay. So, like Matthew West, Big Daddy Weave, these big names, got to shuffle them in they right before. We're so close to coming on this show. They, uh, yeah. While they were in town, it just it didn't work out. We time-wise. gave them the better offer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the the production logistics of getting those people in and out out of the stage and into the podcast, and it's kind of a, a more complicated okay. production. But. Well, Matthew West um, yeah. is actually uh, a, a good acquaintance mm. of ours. Sure. I wouldn't go. I, I, he, he is. Fr- I'm friendly with him. Right, right. It's, we're not hanging out all the time. <laughs> sure. But um, had a chance to do a show with Matthew uh, for the lighting of the uh, National Christmas Tree. Oh, nice. DC. Awesome. And um, so uh, that was cool. Got to do a couple songs with Matthew. And he actually co wrote a, a song. That is on the current Low Cash album called oh, "Kissing a Girl Goodnight." How about that? And um, so we—he was at our 
album release party mm. and and things like that. So sure. we run into each other. Really super nice great guy. Great dude. Yeah. Great talent. Absolutely. Um and he's got a new album out he does. as well. Yep. And um so yeah, that that's that's pretty cool. Um you know, we we haven't done um anything in that genre yet, but you and I uh both play for churches. That's right. And uh and uh you know, Christian music is very close to our hearts as sure, well of as as all of the other things that we work on. And even though we might be doing videos and stuff that are of a secular nature, um, we know that we wouldn't be able to do any of this without you know God kind of bringing everybody together that's in right. this. Sure, sure, and uh, and being that way. And I have that's one of the great things about a podcast. You can be proud of of that, <laughs> and uh, I don't care what anybody thinks. There's this. Uh, my faith is very important to me, and uh, I would not you know be able to do any of this or have any of the people working with me mm. you know if it wasn't for that. So, Same here. Um, so that makes it real fun to work with too, when you can depend on people that you're working with that, uh, you know, uh, have that extra power to mm. go along with everything that's going on. Um, so um, anyway, you, you people have had a chance to hear you talk on a previous podcast. That's with right. Me, yeah, and uh, you've been helping us out on the film side, the recording part. But uh, you and I have actually gotten together and done some rehearsing here. We sure on have. a few songs, yeah. Because uh, we're going to do some live streaming. We're Coming gonna, at you we're soon. We're going to do some acoustic songs. I know this is that moment where everybody wishes that we were actually going to like. Oh, <laughs> then maybe they'll do a song right now. <laughs> no, not going to happen. Not folks. happening. Sorry yet. to disappoint. Because uh, we've actually had one rehearsal. <laughs> one yeah. rehearsal. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> uh, and went through about 13, 14 songs yeah. of just getting them together yet. So we're not quite there yet but we're gonna we're gonna put that thing together that being and, uh, said they sound really good they sound really and they good should tune in when they come when out. they come out that's right uh we've got some new gear that's you right know, yeah lined up to be able to make it happen because uh we didn't want to just nothing against doing the whole iphone thing for mm. people who are just set up the iphone and playing in the room um we wanted to be able to stream it and have it be fun to listen to Wanted sure to have sure. good sound quality along with uh, obviously good video quality as well so uh yeah i'm looking i'm looking forward to that too um anyway i think it's uh your shot let me see let me Let's see what it. you got here and yeah, my stripes are solids what's the deal here you are solids okay. doing us a solid <laughs> with authority what'd you get uh, a solid. A solid? <laughs> when you can hit some of those stripes, there's not as many solids as stripes left on here. This is terrible. We're just going to do some chaos. That could have Come been on, better. baby. That's Come stupid. on. Come on. Give me a chance. Oh, left me hanging. All right. I'm going to take one more shot. And we'll let Go for it. Go for it. Sort of topic. Approaching the ball with elegance. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Could you give us some billiards? A A R S M R. What? Is, hey, what? A S M R. A S A. Give us some billiards. Yeah, ASMR. yeah. That's right. Paul approaches the table with grace. He aligns the cue to the ball. He takes his shot. Oh, there, there it goes. There it goes. His little stripe there. Oh, but fails to get it in the hole. Fails, fails miserably. Fails miserably. It's a miserable yeah. fail. That's a, b- embarrassing and insulting. Yeah. Dare, dare I say epic fail. Yeah. So anyway, you know, we may get a whole nother career out of this. Hey, I wouldn't put it past us. <laughs> <laughs> we may, in fact, coming to the channel next week, we're going to do a whole playlist of nothing but billiards ASMR sounds just for anybody who's looking for that. If that's something what people are looking for. Dylan approaches the table. He got one in. Yeah, but he got the cue ball in, too. Can you tell us about... You are a watchmanist. A a what now? A watchmanist. A watchmanist. That means you like... You are a man who likes to... Wear watches. Wear watches? Yes. Yeah. Well, can you tell us about your watch and what I time you have can. on it today? Uh, well, I'm wearing the Belova tonight. Belova? But the battery has been uh, expended. So uh, this is the watch, if you can see it in the phone camera there. It's, right. a, ni- it's a nice little piece. I want to check this phone camera. A little, uh, little two-tone. What we're looking at here. 
two tone gold silver action there. Up a little bit, it was a little washed out. <laughs> anyway, it's a, it's a nice right. watch. It's a nice watch. Yeah. Earlier, I thought I'd talk about I enjoy my watches. But yeah, it's a, it's a nice piece. All right. Yeah. I'm going to put this stripe in. We're going to talk about one last thing here, real quick. Ooh. Spicy Did joke. not get it in. Maybe not as spicy as well, it needed uh, to be. I know, I know. So, um, as an observer. Uh, because we brought you on sort of after the fact. Right. We're kind of talking about music videos today a little bit. Sure. So as an observer of um, watching Castle from a fan's point of view. That's right. But uh, someone who knows us at the same time. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and the Bones video and the Watermelon Sugar video. But I want you to tell me what what were things that you were impressed about mm. and not because i'm looking for you to say impressed about but sure um but or things that you thought were interesting that we were able to capture from it right, right but then also were you able did it look authentic to you or sound and sound authentic to you to who you know me as a musician and mm. to how you know Red is a film person. I guess okay. what I'm really trying to get here to, the, <laughs> point that question. I, point, the point that I'm trying to make is, I think we had some people that were surprised. Sure. I also think we had some people that were like, there's no way that these two people did this on their own. Right. And I kind of want you to demystify that a little bit. Okay, I can do that. And talk about how, what you know about me as a musician, sure. him as a film person, sure. and how we were able to create it and how you saw us come through in those videos okay okay i can speak to a couple things there uh i remember talking to red the first time i watched the castle music video i said man where'd you find like what site did you get that castle aerial shot right off? that looked great he's like no nah, we shot that ourselves with the drone i'm like that's like straight off of a yeah high-end production like stock video like site. hollywood movie flying in right looked great yeah. so stuff like that the production value very impressive for like a channel just starting out yeah, yeah. kudos. And we were, we were just starting out, and and the other thing was we we wanted everything to be stuff that we made and sure. shot. We didn't want to go sure. rent somebody or right. use stock images or sure. anything like yeah. that or whatever. So yeah, go ahead. And then with you as an artist, uh, my experience with you in the past has been more the country rock kind of thing, yeah. which I dig a lot. And this is kind of tertiary to that um same kind of kind of vibe but breaking out of the shell a bit i'm like right. wow paul come on get the ed sheeran covers out yes. that's nice yeah, yeah so <laughs> yeah so i think you know it 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 was kind of neat that we didn't one of my favorite things i guess is what i'm getting to about this channel mm. and, and what we do uh on the performance side of things the music video side of things is you know I've had I've had and lost some record deals sure, in the past. Sure, sure. Have this, I don't have, and not that I wouldn't be willing to work with mm. other people and other whether it's film or labels or whatever. But right now, the whole premise of what we're doing here is that we don't have to play by any rules. Right. And I think yeah. that's the the fun of it. Sure. I would love to see suggestions down in the comments below mm. if there's certain songs or, or or films that or videos that you would, you know, that you like. Um and and we'll take some pieces from that, but we we'll take those bits and pieces in, but at the same time uh, we're having a lot of fun just not having to a fit a format of a radio station mm, to where right. I go, oh well, what niche do you fit in well, we've got this artist here this artist there and that sort of thing <laughs> what's weird is i get that experience already being with low cash yeah sure and and knowing what what that's like and how hard it is even when you do have a defined artist within a genre right it's a lot of fun to not have to put a definition on it right totally now, yeah. with either the the recording or with the with the film side of it sure and i think what we're really excited about for this next video that you're going to be a big 
part of the the, yeah, the, sure. pro- the production of this as well is that we're kind of taking all the uh, training wheels off, all mm. the safety rails off, and 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 making it work that way. And uh, it's what I the think, kids would call a full send. Yes, a full send. <laughs> yeah, a full send. It's a full send. <laughs> and I think we're going to full send some of our acoustic stuff as I'd well. I'd like to think so. That we're going to yeah. stream with. I think people will find like. There's a couple songs where we make some transitions and some yeah, stuff yeah. that are some throwbacks. Totally. To some of the people on this wall. Coming soon. Yes. Uh, but with current songs That's right. that integrate with them. So, yeah. If you're looking for a no rules channel to follow uh, no, on music and film, right you're in the right place. <laughs> yeah. And that's what we're going to hopefully continue to bring. And um, we're going to get a caution tape next week for the microphone that Red keeps hitting with the jib. <laughs> it's like six so, times. <laughs> um, I'm going to send you back to that camera so we don't lose any more microphones. I'm going to bring Red up to finish this out. Because um, I think he's only hit it four times, but that's okay. Um, Red, come on back. I'm going to give you the final shot. You've lost your job on the jib. And... Uh, so, not gonna lie, <clears throat> I've that jib had, is moving camera. I just learned that. I've I've had to work a jib a few times now, and I have learned is not necessarily my forte. Okay, I, <laughs> the directing is I, fantastic. I yeah. the editing's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, I I like to be a little more offhand with the camera. I'm I'm a good camera operator in the fact that I know how to do it on a right. technical level, but. I, I will say that there are steadier hands to put it in on occasion. What, what, and steadier hands in general. I really wasn't planning on going here because I was about to like put oh the Lord. button or the bow on yeah. it and wrap this thing up as it's called. There you go. Actual film and all of that. But uh-huh. so you you mentioned that you might not be the steadiest with it. Yeah. Is I don't know if poem would agree with this or not. You know, but in our family, you you you, uh-huh. you may or may not have a history of. Some, some clumsiness I or some had, tripping over of your your own flip flops or feet is this true i have had some some clumsiness in the past yeah there's okay. there have been a few moments yet you're a really good skateboarder yes okay i know that they don't i and i did gymnastics for a long time i none of that's just because you like cats and you wanted to be in a musical that's probably or, true. Yeah. More true than you want to admit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we've got the jib back in good hands to close out this final great. shot. I'm so glad. Um, thank you for watching. Um, we're going to bring back our little pop-up artist for the last. Send it home. Tell them, tell them what they need to do if they, uh, if they enjoyed today's show. What do, they, what do they need to do? Like and subscribe in the next five seconds or you have bad luck for the next 150 years. Don't risk it. Like and subscribe. You heard the man. Don't like, risk it. Like and subscribe. I think the other word he said before was yeet. Yeet. I'm supposed to add yeet. I am starving, so I would like to go yeet. You would like to go and, yeet. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Adios, everybody.